That music. Oh, so, so good. Richard, it's like a mini what were you thinking. Please explain the running dialogue in your head during the play we just saw of you at age 36, dunking over Clay Thompson on Christmas Day national broadcast, no less. Uh, honestly, I remember that I was like 0 for 5. The Warriors had so many offensive uh, studs on that court that uh, T. Lou just kept me in because he needed defenders. So I just needed to do something. I had four points in that game, two dunks. But it, if you go back and watch the game, it felt like I had like a career high. But the old man dunks are the best because you don't know how many more you got in you. So you really do relish that. And uh, it couldn't have happened to a better guy in Klay Thompson. Oh, 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 I, Rachel, let's not give him this praise, though, because he dunking over Klay Thompson. Klay Thompson is a shooting guard. He's a shooting guard. I don't want to hear that. He's, he the, same he's, he's, he's the same height as me. He's the same height as me. No, no. Nah, uh, nah, That's nah, first point. Nah, feeling good. We're not. Oh, my it's God. It's okay, Come on. I love you, Perk. I love you. I love you, Perk. <laughs> Guys, we sit 20 days from the resumption of the season. The start of next season, though, is already on the books. It's slated to start on December 1st. Now, a normal offseason is usually around four months. That's how long it was last summer between the Raptors winning in June to the opening night in October. But this year's offseason could see as little as four weeks from a potential finals game, seven, right, on October 13th, until training camps pick back up on November 10th. So, Perk, next year's schedule, certainly not set in stone, but December 1st, is that when you would have the season start, or would you want to push it back? I would push it back just a few weeks. But, Rachel, let's not forget that guys just had three and a half four months of rest. So I will push it back just a little bit, a couple of weeks. But come on, man. We, you know, guys are ready. And think about the guy, think about the teams that aren't playing right now, how long of a break they have right now. So, you know, at the end of the day, guys knew what they were signing up for. Guys knew that this could possibly happen, that they could have a quick turnaround when they agreed to play in the bubble. So they'll be ready. They'll be perfectly fine. Guys, the technology and the way that guys are able to take care of their bodies, I'm not concerned at all. Well, uh, uh, Perk, I, I, I kind of agree with you, and we're going to kind of keep that going. The main issue is here, the teams that are in the NBA Finals, the teams that are NBA, in the NBA Finals, and I'll include Western and Eastern Conference Finals because you're going to talk about L.A. Clippers and probably the L.A. Lakers, is that those are the people and those are the players 
carry the NBA. Those are the superstars that the NBA needs. So if you're going to have these guys go to the NBA Finals and then you're going to have a month break and they're expected to carry the NBA for the next few months again, that's where you start to get a little bit worried, uh, especially because you talk about older players. Uh, LeBron James, you're going to talk about Kawhi Leonard and his injury history, or Paul George and Anthony Davis, Giannis. These guys are going to have a very, very short break. And if these guys get injured uh, at any point in time because of that short break, then you're going to have like impacts into the following season. So I think guys should be concerned. No, you're going to hear no. this term again. It's the load management. You're going to hear it in the next season. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to hear it in December, in January, but, in February, because everyone's going to be talking about this time off. But listen, but RJ, RJ, I'm I just happy that you threw you, Giannis's I, name in there. I was just going to say, Kirk, that I'm happy that RJ threw Giannis's name in there at the end, because for a while in his answer, I thought that he thought maybe the Western Conference was just going to play each other for the title. The Eastern Conference teams will be involved in those later games too, RJ. <laughs> and, and Giannis and is obviously a little they, bit younger. Will, oh my lord. Will they though? <laughs> will they? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.